My name is Jeff Bagwell with Rural Metro Fire Department. In today's video, we're going to talk about and explain what happens from the time you dial 911 to the time that the fire department actually arrives on the scene. A lot of people don't understand the complexity that's involved in information taking and the information needed so that the, our responders can get arrive on the scene in a timely fashion and, and arrive and do their job in an efficient manner to help you. What's the address of your emergency? My, my address is 2221 Collins Street. 2221 Collins Street. Can I have your callback number? A, a phone, phone number, 555-6409. Yes, sir, and can you tell me what the problem is? My neighbor's house, it's on fire. When you call 911, this is where all of your information comes in. And when you call, your address will pop up here. Now, if you're calling from your neighbor's house because your house is on fire and you've left the house, then your neighbor's address is going to come up. But we're going to be able to pull that up and see exactly where your address is at. We, our call takers will put all of the information into the call and they will keep you on the phone and they will keep talking to you and gathering information and they will send that over to the dispatchers so that the dispatchers can talk to the field unit. So just because when you call 911 and they keep asking you questions doesn't mean that whoever's coming to your house isn't getting that information. It just means that you're talking to one person and the other person we have in here is talking to the field unit. That just streamlines the process. Can you see active fire? Yes, and lots of black smoke. What area of the home? It's in the garage. Do you know if anyone's home in the residence? I think they're home. Okay, stay back away from the house. We have help on the way.
So when you call 911, the most important piece of information we need is your location, where you're at. We can't send any assistance until we get that address. We use our street addresses here in Knox County. However, if you, maybe you're at a park and you're not sure of the actual address, if you can give us the park name, we can find that. We can also use what we call common places. So West Town Mall, McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, all of these different places we actually have built in our computer system so that we can help find your location. But that is the most important piece of information. Now, if you're calling from your home, obviously we need your street address. But if you live in an apartment complex, we need what floor you're on. If you live in a large complex and there's multiple buildings, you may have building letters or building numbers. We're going to need that information also. Okay, as we've seen in this video, it took five minutes and 22 seconds from the fire department to arrive on the scene from the initial 911 call. The caller made the call in a timely fashion. While he was still trying to attempt to extinguish the fire, he was on the phone with, with the 911 dispatchers giving the pertinent information so that the first responders could arrive on the scene and extinguish the fire as fast as they could. A very successful call from that point, and as you've seen in this video, that information is critical for the 911 caller to get so that the responders can have that information and be able to respond efficiently.